Well, everything in Japan was going fine until Kenzo started terrorizing the other clans. Looked like he was waiting till all of us had made peace with each other to finally strike. <sighs> that bastard been going on about that crap until now, huh? You know a lot about Kenzo, dear. Oh yeah, I should have told you. We go a long way back. I haven't told you much about my past, but uh, I suppose it's time, honey. When we found out Mom died from an illness, huh? Dad went back to the Yakuza. He forced me and Amy to train to protect ourselves. After all the training, we were tasked to do all the dirty work. That's where Kenzo came in. His clan would cooperate in our raids and share the spoils. He needed us for our strength. We were strong with other things. Even in the Yakuza, there was a code of honor. Kenzo, however... I... I have a family. Please, spare me! You should always finish your food, Kiyoshi. <laughs> he was a ruthless and cold-hearted bastard. He wanted me to join in, building his empire with him. <laughs> Say, <laughs> Kiyoshi... I'm offering you a pretty good deal with you by my side. All you have to do is follow my lead. I can guarantee you money, fame, woman, whatever you want. Just tell me. I just need you to hunt down some rats for me. <sighs> nah, I'll pass. Huh? Go find someone else to be a lab dog. I'd rather be an asshole than a killer. <laughs> you sure show him, big bro? Hell yeah. Come on. Let's go wreck stuff up. It's a damn <laughs> punk Kyoshi! Hey, you! You better stop that! Or what? And that's where I met a woman that changed my life forever. D dear, you didn't have to say it like that.